Okay. <clears throat> Sound check. Light check. Do I like this light? Do I want to change it? It did something ever so slightly that I'm gonna commit with, right? Do my lambo baby, welcome to all things. My name is Rebuile. If you're new, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's up? Compliments of the new year, festive seasons, greetings. I hope you had a lovely Christmas holiday break or you just had a moment to yourself to really recenter, realign. Because apparently 2023 is the year of me. I always like that there's like a rhyme that people put to like a year. I don't know what the one for 2022 was and no one really wants to remember it because was it a good year was it a bad year Sazi. but anyway i'm very excited to give you a rundown my top line thoughts i have used all three cleansers and i have opinion on them i will insert somewhere like here or like the side of the screen where you just see me using the products while i give you a bit of like a rundown on my thoughts but basically let's start off with the press drops as you can see it came in this really pretty box over here it's really nice and it's like really i actually don't know what to do with it i don't know guys like how do you deal with like press drop boxes like i just feel so bad throwing it away so it came in like the cerevee branded box and for those of you who don't know cerevee is less than a year in south africa and basically cerevee is one of those renowned cult favorite skincare products that really took to fame on TikTok when people were really raving about the salicylic acid cleanser because that is one that any person that's dealing with acne prone skin combination oily skin really tends to refer to and so I was really excited when Firstly CeraVe came to South Africa and they know little old me I made it ish that's a collab there but I'm just really excited to tell you just like my two cents on how I felt with using the various cleansers whether I would recommend them across the spectrum how did I manage to mitigate against my skin breaking out totally when it came to jumping across the three cleansers that might be of interest to you because maybe you find that you like something for a certain season or it's better suited to a certain stage that your skin is in so I want to give you the tea on all of that now okay cool so basically the press drop looked like this it's quite big nice pretty box and you open it up here by like opening the ribbon unboxing style then you see like this information card section over here i will insert a picture of what it actually looked like before i got to it and used it like i didn't just keep it for the prettiness and everything and i didn't really actually film an unboxing it just took really like nice high quality pictures so basically it just um what's listed inside over here i'll read it to you just so cerave developed with dermatologists and this is what it says inside cerave cleansers and moisturizers are formulated with all the great things that help maintain and restore the skin barrier also free of soap and fragrance non-comedogenic suitable for a wide range of barrier compromised skin conditions allergy tested and skin balance ph so basically really take into account the various uh, skin types skin conditions and skin concerns that one may face they try to create quite a wide spectrum of like standardized formulation when it comes to creating the cleansers and the these ones that are in the box so we have the cerave hydrating cleanser this is what it looks like we have the hydrating foam to cleanser see we have the foaming cleanser Right, so I did find another card, but something in my heart knows that there was even a bigger one, but I can't find that, or maybe I'm mixing up with the various brands. Anyhow, it's Manaza. So it basically came in, came with, this is the other card. I'm pretty sure there was a bigger card that I can't seem to locate right now, but that I can't seem to locate right now. Or maybe I'm capping, I'm not sure. But anyway, there is a CR, it came with a QR code that we can scan over here to find out more information about the various cleansers, which I'm just gonna show you on the screen right now. So when I first got the three cleansers, I was like, oh, okay, cool. My skin type is oily slash combination, can be a bit acne prone if like the sebum um, production isn't managed. So the first thing I was looking for was like, well, which one manages oil? 
what's an oil control cleanser and this was basically the foaming cleanser and of course that's the first one i gravitated towards i just want to show you it again okay, that this cleanser is fragrance free and that it's suitable for normal to oily skin and they say it cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier of the face and the body with three essential ceramides niacinamide and hyaluronic acid so what you realize here is that niacinamide is a really amazing even tone um, agent to include into your skincare routine is quite gentle and it complements quite a lot of other active ingredients without really disrupting um, the formulation hyaluronic acid as we know is key for like just keeping the surface of the skin and also the the second layer of the skin really plump healthy hydrated and then ceramides are basically the moisture bubbles that ensure that moisture is maintained and kept into the skin so that when the little bubbles in between which is like maintained by the hyaluronic acid just keeps the skin into a nice healthy and supple kind of like bouncy look and feel so i started using this for like the past three weeks yes i did experience a bit of a purging that's purely because all of my cleansers to date have a active ingredient which is salicylic acid and none of um the cleansers and specifically this one didn't have salicylic acid so obviously i did have a bit of a purge my skin just needed to readjust um i did find that my oil breakthrough was a little bit more intense than usual and that was purely because um uh, my skin uh my skin was shedding in between its layers so what the reaction that i experienced was expected but nonetheless what i did feel throughout you know my skin purging was that my it just felt supple it was healthy like it just like with little bumps here and the other that would vanish in a matter of days and i was like oh okay cool no problem no stress um i'll just show you here in a cutaway the consistency of this is your traditional see-through cleanser that comes out it lathers so much like i don't even feel like doing a full pump when it comes to using this cleanser i do like a half a pump and i use just like water to activate it go about my cleansing routine you know depending on your preference from 30 seconds up until 60 seconds i am personally team 60 seconds i really like this cleanser what i did find to basically supplement the loss that i felt in salicylic acid for this cleanser was what i used in my moisturizers or in my serum so just to balance that i was able to find a solve it is a gentle enough um formula fragrance free like they say and it just really it lathers up so well and it feels so amazing on the skin like I just enjoyed washing my face when it came to it and um, I did use it for like four weeks and then after that I was like okay I need to kind of transition into the next cleanser and just a bit of a tip but when it comes to content creators specifically skincare content creators we we tend to use a lot of products so when we transition between certain cleansers we do take a bit of time just transitioning or if we want to do the process a little bit more um, faster, we tend to make sure that our active ingredients that satisfy our skincare needs and concerns is consistent within our products, which are, um, depending the various ranges and uh, whether it's in a cleanser to moisturize or serum concentration. I don't know if you knew that, but that's just like insider tips or if you're just wondering how do we go through so many products it's suitable for basically normal to oily skin basically including like the full spectrum of skin types normal dry oily um i would say that i really liked i did notice like a a, a very um incremental change in the over on the overview and the overlook of my skin tone its complexion i found it evening out i found it having just a nice glow i did realize that um in the bottle reading and i was like oh i can use it on my body but no you can use it on your body and i did start using it on my body and my body just feels incredibly incredibly soft my legs just like you know when you do like your hair removal and you groom yourself and then your skin just looks and then it feels i really did like that for it so i think this is definitely going to stay in my skincare rotation you guys like my ball by the way next on we have the hydrating cleanser remember in the beginning when i was reading in the box all of them say that they're going to maintain the skin's barrier the skin's barrier loves 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 moisture water hydration your skin barrier will just be like give it all to me i love it please so the next one is a hydrating cleanser i must say right off the cuff before anyone asks me any questions do i like it not that i hate it i'm spoiled for choice and right now in the season of summer in cape town with my skin type not personally what i need right now hounced ever is what she looks like Again, the traditional survey. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. 
from a product pair perspective, 236 milliliters tends to give you roughly two to two and a half months worth of use, meaning that you use it twice a day to cleanse your face and in the evening. Um, basically, I, I just from best practice and what I've like learned and like experience has shown me that 100 milliliters gives you like a good month's worth of use twice a day and you're not like kind of like cheaping out on using. Like I said, one pump is such is enough and consistently across all the cleansers one pump is so generous enough that i tend to feel a bit overwhelmed i'll do half a pump so you see depending on how much you use it we really will get your your money's worth so from a product payoff perspective it is quite a good investment the hydrating cleanser cleanses and hydrates without disrupting the protective skin barrier of the face the three essential with three essential ceramides and it's key active ingredient is hyaluronic acid in the other one it was hyaluronic acid add niacinamide here it's just ceramides and hyaluronic acid so again you can see there's a consistent uh, maintenance of barrier protection and of moisture and hydration lock -in. i'm going to show you here this is what the formula looks like i think it's really cool it was a bit of like a mind it was a mind boggle for me when i was like pressing and i was like oh my god it looks like lotion it looks like lotion and then it turned into a film what i really enjoyed about survey cleansers which is just like the geek in me and then skin geek in me i really just like how the formulas just turn into this really rich um and effective leather that is so pleasant to use on the skin and knowing that it's not disruptive and that it's even conducive for me to use for my body really allows me to have product payoff so while i may not necessarily feel like this is the cleanse uh, the cleanser that I need for me right now. I like that I can even incorporate this into my body cleansing routine so I can be bougie like that. I am feeling this bomb, yeah. <laughs> So on my card, so the card, the information card here says that a hydrating cleanser is made for dry skin. So this is where you can see that ceramides and hyaluronic acid we're really focused on here to ensure that the moisture and, and hydration retention of the skin is really prioritized. And so this is why you can see that they only focus on hyaluronic acid as a key active ingredient. Formulated again um, to retain with the key ingredient to retain skin's natural moisture and it contains three essential ceramides. Last but certainly not least for on the CeraVe cleansers, what I have is the hydrating cream to foam cleanser. It's suitable for normal to dry skin and its primary core function, as you can see here, I don't know if you can see, but like all of the cleansers have like a little primary function that they have highlighted here. The primary function over here is to remove makeup. I don't know if you can tell, but like there's like makeup marks over there maybe the lighting is too bright but i love this so basically in my bathroom setup i have right by my sink i have this cleanser because this is one the one i'll use like in the afternoon after work after a full day with the rain sunscreen i love this because it basically gives me almost a two-in-one use of like breaking down the oil particles in my skin while giving me the added benefit of having just like a traditional cleansing it almost does the two-in-one effect of a double cleansing routine so in the morning my routine is basically to wake up go in the shower wash my face using the foaming cleanser and then in the afternoon or after a day of wearing sunscreen just to break down the oil particles as well as effectively cleanse my skin i use the cream to foam cleanser as you'll see also here on the screen i've just shown you like how the products look each one of these cleansers look different meaning that when you pump them out of the bottle they give you a different look and feel but they have the traditional CeraVe lather that really gives you that effective and gentle cleansing feel that one appreciates and always looks to when it comes to CeraVe cleansers one thing I must say I was really 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 hoping to get the salicylic um, acid cleanser to compare really those three various um, cleanses against that because that's a cult favorite it's something that undeniably has changed the game have i ever personally used it no i haven't but i already know just based on like skin um, habits and performance of certain things i'm more inclined to go towards a cleanser that has salicylic acid as an active ingredient but this is not to discredit the three cleansers that have come out over here by the CeraVe team let me just grab the other one all of these cleansers are really cool they're really effective and they are available at um the retailers uh clicks if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure about discount i think it's probably their discount by now all of them are your standard 236 milliliters meaning that you basically get two to two and a half months worth of product payoff product payoff is basically how long will you get this product for having invested into it and what i like about the cleansers is that they all cater to a specific skin need and meaning that if you do find yourself buying them 
I think that while I may not necessarily be running towards the um, hydrating cleanser currently, I think it's definitely going to pull up in winter where I'll find myself still using this in the afternoon, the cream to foam cleanser in the afternoon just to get my sunscreen off. But in the morning, I'll switch out the gel mousson for the hydrating cleanser in the winter. So I feel like that's the kind of rotation I have in mind, but the consistent one is definitely the cream to foam cleanser. It strips away makeup so safely, so nourishingly, if that's even a word. And I must say that is probably my favorite cleanser to come out from the latest edition of the cleansers that CeraVe have introduced us to. Let me know your thoughts. Have you gotten a chance to use any of the CeraVe cleansers? Maybe not the one that I mentioned. Maybe there's another one that you've used. Let me know your thoughts. I'm really excited to be into the world of CeraVe, knowing that I've just watched it eagerly from like the TikTok space and the fact that it's here in South Africa. I'm really excited that CeraVe is here in South Africa. It is an affordable, effective solution to your various skincare needs from acne prone to dry skin to really just trying to keep it easy and not disrupt the most i'm really excited that i have all of these three cleansers in my rotation and there is a use effective from face to body that i can incorporate into my skincare routine so yeah that was basically the rundown giving an introduction to the various cleansers my thoughts on them where i stand with them Thank you so much for tuning and hearing my two cents and my thoughts basically on CeraVe cleansers. Again, a massive thank you to the L'Oreal team and CeraVe for sending me these cleansers. Much appreciated. This is gifted. It's not a sponsored uh, video. It's just really me as a skincare geek or a skin intellectual. I learned that word like last year. I learned that word in December. I was so geeked out. They're like, what's a skin intellectual? I was like, ah, yes, I am. I am. I am a skin intellectual. Okay, maybe not a skin intellectual, but I'm a skin geek. And we're going to take it. And we're going to take it. Anyway, let me know if you use CeraVe. If you use a cleanser, a moisturizer. Are, what in the CeraVe family are you hell-bent on keeping? And you say it's a must-have. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. And I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.